right, so uh, pick off with the tutorial here. Um, we're going to uh, resume, uh, finish, or start where we finished in the last episode, and we are going to cover um, how to how to export uh, your Blender model and your textures into a uh, into the creation kit. You know, we're going to teach you how to use an if scope, how to use a BGSM editor, how to extract the files from the default base game so you can use them as a cross reference in if scope and uh, how to get it properly format a NIF file so it doesn't crash when entering the creation kit as well as showing how to, and I'm about to show you this right now, how to create a directory for your mod so that it doesn't screw with other people's games. So first thing you want to do is you want to go into your, if you're doing a um, texture or like an item, if you want, want to do something that has a custom mesh texture and uh, custom mesh and texture, we're going to need a create a file, a folder within the materials folder, the textures folder, and the meshes folder of your game where you should have the creation kit installed. So uh, we're going to make a folder and we're going to call it um, Minx Tutorial and we're going to copy that and we're going to make that folder three times uh, in each of these. So here we go, we got our tutorials. We want to uh, sit in them. So right now they're going to be empty, and that is fine. Um, preliminarily, we can go and we can take the textures that we made and put them in the textures folder. There's nothing we really have to do there. Uh, you might actually want to do that immediately. Um, so for this next pick, you're going to want to download a program called uh, Body Slider from Calentine's Beautiful Bodies um, Fallout 4 Edition. I know that sounds like something that you really should never uh, need to use in modding, but currently it is the only way to get something from Blender into body slide, into a NIF file. Uh, the patch for Blender is broken at the moment, so we're going to have to use this. It's a bit ghetto, but uh, bear with me. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go into our uh, Blender file and see down here. Uh, to get this texture going, you want to go into edit mode and click on all of the faces again, um, like this. And after we do this, you want to go to open and then click on the diffuse map. Uh, this really isn't important. This is if you want to preview uh, a bad version of what it's going to look like in game. All right, so you want to hit that. Uh, PNG, DDS doesn't matter. Open image, and then what you want to do is hit file. Uh, export and then to a wavefront.obj and you're going to put it in your uh, to, into the directory uh, where you uh, put all the other files and hit export obj so now that we've got that going um, you can preview it if you have Windows 10 uh, there are other ways of doing it with other programs um, but Windows 10 has this one built in so you double click on the obj file and it's going to tell you to find the actual like uh, files it also created, so the .mtl and the .h.dds. Now, uh, if you preview things in this program, or important things to note, everything will be rotated 90 degrees this way. For some reason, I I don't know why they uh, go ask Windows. And so anyway, this is our horrible looking texture, but uh, this is what it looks like. Um, it'll be a bit more bumpy and like it'll be more defined once you actually get it into the game. This is what it's going to look like except upright. Alright, so all we're really going to need, we all need this MTL, um, and we of course need these. But all we really need right now is the OBJ, and we're going to want to open uh, the Calentines program that I have just told you about. So to do that, we're going to go, uh, I'll link it down in the description. It's going to be in body slides. We're going to open body slide x64.exe. Ignore this. This is just for general modding. Go to Outfit Studio. All right. So now that you're here, uh, you want to go. I'll take the OBJ and just drag it in. So uh, yeah, you should see this here. Kind of. Oh, it's over there right now. It doesn't really matter. And next thing we have to do is just export NIF. At least vertically, just hit yes. Uh, and you want to put it in with, well, wherever. Really, you're actually not going to need this file in particular. Uh, so I'm going to call this preliminary to 
house. Um, and so now that it's here, all right, don't double click it. What you want to do is download a program called NIFScope. Okay. Oh, no, actually, okay, so the first thing you want to do in this process, or after that you've exported this, is you're going to want to download so going to want to download a program called Bethesda Archive Extractor. Uh, this is you don't have to do this, but I feel it makes the whole process a lot easier. It gives you uh, something to reference as well as a functional NIF. Uh, I have it saved right here, and you want so it's going to be called. I'm going to go to File, Open File. You're only ever going to need to do this once, and you want to find your Fallout directory. So uh, I have it. I have my Fallout directory on my D drive. And, um, yeah, so you go into your data folder, and then you select by uh, shift-clicking, or clicking, and then shift-clicking all the Fallout 4, like, vanilla assets, and just hit open. And then you'll want to hit extract here, and extract it to a separate folder. And this will basically have all the hidden files in the game, all the NIFs, all the weird stuff that you don't understand. I don't understand. And, uh, kind of show it out. These are all accessible within the creation kit, but they're not exportable from the creation kit to my knowledge. Uh, I'm not going to hit extract here, but I uh, actually am, and it's going to give you a folder. Uh, I create a separate folder for that called Fallout 4 Data Unfolded. Uh, that's where I put mine. You can put yours wherever you want on your computer. Just create a separate file. It's going to be pretty big, and it's about going to be about the size of Fallout. Okay, so now that we've got our uh, data folder. Actually, let's go to our Fallout 4. Um, let's go to where I have all of the data. And what we're going to do is, I guess, to get like a reference for size, we're going to take the building blocks, um, which we're going to find in here somewhere. Um, it's under. All right, give me a second. I will get back to you when I find it. Alright, sometime later, I couldn't find the little letter blocks that spawn on enemies. I'm sure you've all seen them and can't remember what they're called. Um, so we're going with cinder blocks. Now, if you try double-clicking on them, it's just going to say, it's going to open up part of the creation kit, say, um, invalid directory, and then screw you. So we're going to go with cinder block square single 01. And we're actually going to copy that into our meshes uh, custom folder so this one right here and we're going to rename it um, this is going to be important here um, minx mink house this is going to be mink house and because uh, I can't come up with a better easily searchable name so it's mink house dot nif and so what we're going to want to do is open nif scope twice now nif scope um, you can't really set anything up to open automatically with it. I'm going to recommend it anyway. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to double click it and then we're going to um, double click it again. And we're going to kind of... I don't know. Okay, so on this side right here uh, we're going to open up cinder block single... Uh, no, single cinder block 01 from our unfolded version of everything. I mean, no, we're not. That's a bad idea. What we're going to do is we're going to open up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit of all over the place right now. We're going to go to our um, our preliminary house right here. Why is it? Ro we can fix the rotating thing. You can do a little bit in NIF scope. Uh, that's one of those things that you can do. Fix. I don't know why it's rotated. And so. The only thing you're going to want from here is to block and then copy. All right, you don't want these two. These are bad and stupid. Okay, and um, you're going to go and into here and then open up your cinder block. Or open up from the uh, your directory with the custom folder. So Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, Data meshes and then your custom folder and it'll be right there and so this is your palette and you hit paste block paste you close this and you might want to full screen this all right so here we have um 
all this. And the first thing we're going to want to do is actually transform it. So edit, and uh, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees one way or the other. And that way would have to be uh, the y-axis in this case. Um, all right, and then uh, Um, nope. This is a bit finicky. You kind of have to go up by decimals and, and manually input if you want the exact effect that you're looking for. So I'm going to go with 1.3. No. 1.1.2. 1. 1. Uh, unfortunately, there's really no good way to do this at the moment. Uh, so this is kind of what you're stuck with. So um, I think this looks nice. Uh, I want to move it a bit to the center. Uh, I think that I think that looks good. Uh, one last thing in Blender, if you want to polish it a little bit, uh, leave Edit Mode. There's a little uh, bar you can pull out to manually edit the coordinates of an object. Set the X, Y, and Z to zero zero. It'll make centering a bit easier. But since we're not really doing quality right here, uh, we're just gonna work with this. It's probably not gonna be perfect. I mean, it's it's far from perfect. Okay. So what we're gonna want to do. I actually completely kill this. This, this. this doesn't exist. We probably should have hit block remove all. Because uh, what we just did was stupid. But we're going to also want to remove this. And we're going to want to remove... Uh, um, we're not going to want to remove this. Actually, yes, we are. Okay. So, what we're going to do is um, leave this, leave this. Uh, you might want to edit the tags on this. Uh, this right here we'll fix in a second. Um, but what we've got so far is we have a tri shape. We don't want it being a tri shape, so actually, this is rather convenient. Um, you go on this as you go from uh, block, and then you hit convert, Bethesda, BS Tri Shape. This is the approved format, really. And uh, what you want to do from here, um, give me a second, is what you want to do is uh, you want to double click this and set it to 1. Alright, uh, next thing you want to do is you want to keep this lighting shaders property so you want it to be down here so in order to do that what you have to do is uh, click on your BS tri shape and where it says BS properties you're going to want to hit 4 and it's going to put the lighting shader property right there and so you're wondering, what's this doing here? And uh, there's actually a way to fix this. Uh, you have to go into the BS tri shape and kind of go to. Um, it's got an invalid like file there uh, that carried over bo from body slide. Um, this is all really confusing. You might want to be looking at the bottom of my screen. So where it says skin 60, just backspace that so it says none. Uh, you don't need that. It's stupid and bad. Um, so what you have to do after that is in the BS tex um, shader texture set, you see the way there's like a gap and these three are all kind of like stretched out. That will actually crash your game. So what you want to do is you see this diffuse right here. Okay. Um, you're going to want to double click it and then go to your textures file and copy the um, the line from there down and uh, actually what you want to do is you want to hit you wanna go to the end the command line let me let me make this folder a bit bigger so you guys can see right, you want to go to there and you want to hit D and uh, kind of copy all this um, 
for example, and hit this button. And there uh, you go. And you want to do the same here, but we know how they're named already, so we don't have to copy it. We just have to paste it and change this to normals. And then we want to paste it up here and set it to specular and kill this. This is bad, and you don't want it. Okay. And so uh, you may notice that this remains unchanged so far. And so we're going to, need to do is go into another program called uh, Fallout 4 Material Editor, which I will link in the description ago. Uh, in a second. So we're actually going to want to find a material file, I guess, and we're going to find the uh, the uh, cinder block material. So let's go into here, uh, find the cinder block. I mean, you can use any. You could probably create a blank file, but um, I feel that this makes it a million times easier. So what we're looking for is a, B, a B, dot .bgsm. Okay. Uh, what it does is it kind of tells it kind of tells the uh, the game where to look for for the textures as well as in that file. They both have to do that. It's uh, really bizarre and kind of unoptimized, but I don't actually know how the game works. I'm gonna leave that up to Bethesda and hope that they know what they're doing. So any second now. This is what the materials uh, folder that we made is for. Alright, so mod cinder, cinder block clean that BGSM. Copy. And then we are going to paste it in our materials folder. Alright, and we're going to call it. Um, Alright mink house the bgsm and so now that we are in material editor exe i'm going to hit file open and go back to our materials and then click on mink's tutorial mink house bgsm and what we're going to want to do here is actually change the diffuse texture uh, from where it is now and we want to go past the meshes area. So the directory for that would be... Mm, give me a second. Oh, uh, not meshes, past the textures. So we just had to do minx tutorial and then slash sh.dds. And hit copy. And uh, paste it in. And then do the same here. Uh, but change that D to an N because that's our normal map and here for our smooth specular it's all kind of intuitive uh, there's some settings down here you can screw with them if you want to uh, I don't know what a few of these do let's make this number higher come on why not um, I won't screw around with two of them uh, sometimes they can make stuff look really bad like emittance if you don't know what you're doing Glow map is a bit more complicated. I don't know how to do that at the moment. So not going to do that. Don't put tree on. Don't put hair on unless you're making hair. Um, pretty basic stuff. You can probably figure most of this out. Um, these are fine. Whatever. Version 1. Environment mapping. That will make it so it like, blends in. Landmines have that on by default. And we're just, you just want to hit save. So hit save. And uh, there we go. We have our first successful material file. And so uh, we're going to want to go back to our NIF scope uh, here. And where it says this, you actually want to go down to the tab that says header. And strings. And you'll see here it says materials, slash architecture, slash whatever, nobody cares. And we're going to go into our materials directory. And just kind of grab this. Full name or whatever. And, uh, yeah, like this. Scroll down. Materials. Bam. Copy. Paste. And that would be string four. That's string four. So, bam, or three. It's string three. So now it says that there. You go into this. You go into BS things. It says that now. Um, 
you want to click on bounding sphere uh, if it's not in this sphere it won't render uh, you can keep that in mind you can edit it somewhat easily uh, don't don't worry about it don't worry about the collision thing and uh, we should have ourselves a fully formatted NIF and texture and material file that we can put into the creation kit so we're gonna hit save oh wait no we're not we are not ready uh, there's a bit of cleanup we need to do as you may notice it looks like this it should never look like this Ninode with a zero at the beginning should always begin so always be at the top uh, there's no if and or buts about that um, so uh, what we're going to want to do is edit the children on this and it says it has no children so we're going to tell it it is wrong and it needs to have children and it has three children actually see it does and it was wrong it had the children the whole time I don't know why these separated it happens um, it's weird you might want to just kill this it's a disappointment to the whole family okay that was wrong don't do that <laughs> I'm uh, you know I'm such a help here uh, children I guess you have to put five as children and now it has one child and one BSX flag and a collision object and this tri shape right here with the skins and it's everything and no random miscellaneous data um, if you want to make things look pretty where it says cinder block single uh, you can call it mink house mink house and now it says mink house here and now uh, some of the things I like to do some of these spells so uh, or more sanitize you want to do sanitize magic that stuff's creepy all right sanitize reorder link over arrays um, reorder blocks so everything looks nice and pretty and numbered properly now and uh, yeah hit save uh, so what you want to do now is sign into Bethesda net which I will do if you want to make sure that things are working before you go through the process of opening the creation kit just to have a crash on you uh, what you might want to do is make sure that the NIF is in the uh, in your directory otherwise it just won't this won't work at all double click on it I'll say the creation kit this isn't the full thing it's opening just like a weird specialized version that doesn't really do anything at the moment and if it hasn't crashed uh, that means that it is ready they put in the game you can see it's all kind of bumpy and stuff um, you can see this kind of false depth to it and all and we can, we'll see a bit more of that in game uh, if you want we can screw around a bit in the BGSM uh, you can make it more bumpy we're not going to be doing that right now so in the Bethesda net launcher play on the creation kit um, uh, click data and want to double click on fallout4.esm do not click on any of your DLC or mods otherwise it will make it so that if anybody wants to use their mod they must have either the DLC or whatever mods you clicked on so we're making a standalone mod that's not based off of anything so we're going to double click on that and hit OK and this will take about three to four minutes. I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so we're now we're in the actual creation kit. Um, so we're gonna go to either items or world objects. Um, I'm not sure how we're actually going to add this in. So we're gonna put it under misc item actually, and uh, I want to take something completely random. Let's take uh the bone saw. Yeah, and we're gonna duplicate it and rename it. And, uh, that's weird. We're going to duplicate it. And now, there's a bone saw copy and then four zeros. And we're going to call it Mink. I'm going to call it Mink House. Make sure Caps Lock isn't on. Because Caps Lock sucks. And uh, we're going to hit OK. And create a new form. It is now a new form. Uh, we're going to scroll all the way down to, um, uh, we're just going to search mink, 
And here's the only thing here. So, um, model. What we're going to do is hit model and then hit, see where it says bonesaw.bgsm. We're going to hit custom material swap. I'm going to change this and now it'll just bring up this browser right here. Uh, so in your materials thing, you'll find Mink's tutorial, minkhouse.bgsm. And this looks, this looks ugly. So then what we want to do is, uh, we have to be super careful with this process or it will crash. So let's go into our meshes and um, see here how the uh, suffix, whatever system works, uh, it starts right after where it says materials. So we are going to have to go into here and uh, put in, hey, no, not materials, I'm sorry. I, I get a bit, this is a lot, all right. Um, Hit that, bam. Uh, this is really all you have to do. Go into the creation kit, name it that, and uh, you got our house. And so um, we're going to make this a mod, and we're going to test it in the game. So we're going to hit OK. And uh, we're going to screw around a little bit here. So that's its weight. Don't screw with that. I, I don't know what preview transform is, so in your hand this will look like a saw. Don't worry, it is not a saw. Um, you can set up your own sounds. Setting up your own sounds really only requires you to have a WAV file and basically duplicating another item in the creation kit. That's a whole nother tutorial. You can probably figure it out yourself. Same thing here, so we're not going to, I guess we're going to set random sounds for that. So, um, just to, I don't know, as a proof of concept, um, sure, why not, we're going to take this one, uh, some Myrlux down, and when we put it down, it's going to say, Minigun Mount Bonk. Great. We'll make this thing worth, uh, 444. Not doing scripting here, component. Um, we're going to add a component, you know, why not? I want to say this thing is were, is just totally acid, man. Uh, it's worth acid. And it's like a bunch of acid or something. Yeah, it's not acid. I don't know how this works. I run it okay. And uh, we're going to go back to here, hit file. And then save. And this is where we name our mod. Um, we're going to call it Mink House. Save. And uh, we'll launch Fallout 4. I'm going to use my um, Nexus Mod Manager. I'd use Mod Organizer if it was even available for Fallout 4. Guys, get on this. What are you doing? Um, while we sit here... Uh, if you guys have any questions, if you have anything to say about my tutorials, please. If you're here for cringe, um, you probably haven't watched this far into this video. But if you are, um, don't worry, this isn't interfering. I'm actually making a compilation right now. Uh, I just wanted to do this and show other people how. Um, I was having a discussion with a, another modern in comments, I guess. And they don't actually know how to get... Um, the texture, the NIF into the creation it without crashing, and it's all about that very specific way that we had these ordered in the um, shader texture set, like this. Any other way, if they're spaced out, it will crash, even though that's the way the files are normally. Don't ask. That's Bethesda's fault. Let's launch Fallout. Alright, here we are in Fallout with our mod loaded. Um, in my shed. Ignore that. Ignore that. So we're going to spawn in our item. Uh, we can make recipes for it. It's not complicated. The people know how to do this. I'm making this tutorial purely for those who... Uh, for this one aspect of actually importing into the game. And I'm just going to follow through and finish. Uh, if you want to learn how to make a crafting recipe, or sounds, or whatever, people have done videos on it, but no one knows how to get NIFScope into the actual creation kit. Or if they have, they haven't made a tutorial. So... I'm gonna show you right now. So we're gonna mink help. We're gonna know. Okay, we're gonna help mink 
Four. Four. I cannot hit four. This is hard. And then... Player... Player... Dot... Not... Add item... Two nine zero 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 F nine A one. So we have a mink house added. You hear that weird ass sound? That was some Meyer luck thing. Uh, we're gonna go through the misc section. So that means it'll be in this tab. Just scroll down a bit. It will be somewhere in here. Here it is. And balls. All right, so that didn't go so well. Um, I'm not going to try to fix it. Uh, I think I know what went wrong is I tried to add it in like miscellaneous and a weird object. You might want to find cinder blocks in this thing. You might want to be more careful, but you get the idea. Um, it won't crash on startup if you're not rushing it like I am. Once again, if you have any questions uh, like where to put it, don't put it where I put it. That came out wrong. Anyway, um, so final step, just to wrap this up. We're gonna go. If you want to upload this to the Nexus, I mean, to, what you want to do is you want to go upload plugin and archive to Bethesda Net and choose a platform and make sure you're logged in to Bethesda Net. So I'm gonna do that right now. And um, we're not actually gonna upload this because it's broken and there's no real nobody wants this. And it'll kind of put these into a BA2 file. It'll get to hit pack files. Um, and there will be files in there by that name. You can also create archive and then pack files and then name them. And you'll hit name two things. So I'll we'll call it tutorial and then tutor and then tutorial two ba twos. Pack those with the ESP file, um, minkhouse.esp in this example and put them in a RAR and uh, put that on the Nexus and that'll just work and uh, that's all I have to tell you for today um, crashing to desktop normally won't happen but I put it in a strange area and I put on some settings that you really should never attempt um, if you're gonna put something of a similar thing find it in the folder you referenced it to don't put it somewhere completely random because you're too lazy to find anything um, so I hope that this tutorial was helpful, and you're not an idiot like me, and you actually get it to not crash and you put it in the game. The only reason I did is because I put it in the wrong place, in here, and uh, I hope you have fun, and uh, make your own glorious, beautiful mods that are better than mine, and share this with anybody you know that wants to mod things. So, uh, yeah, later.